What is sequential chain in LangChain? It is about to make a series of calls to a language model. And this is particularly useful when you want to take the output from one call and use it as the input to an hour. Let's have a simple situation. We need to quickly prepare a personalized improvement plan based on a given performance review for such employee. So, at the very beginning we have a performance review as the input. Input to chain number one. This chain is able to understand the instruction we are giving to. In our case, give a summary of this employee performance review, where review is an input. We call this instruction as a template. So, the output of chain number one is a summary. This summary is an input for next chain, chain number two. For chain number two, we have another task. Identify key employee weaknesses in the review summary, where review summary from the chain number one is the input here. So, based on this instruction, which we calling as a template, the output of chain number two is the list of weaknesses. This list of weaknesses goes to chain number three, and the chain number three is taking our last instruction, which tell what to do. Create a personalized plan to help address and fix these weaknesses, where weaknesses are the input to chain number three. As I mentioned at the very beginning, the personalized plan is the final product of the solution we want to build. So, we have three steps, three chains inside our LangChain architecture. For chain number one, the input is review. For chain number two, the input is review summary. For chain number three, the input is the list of weaknesses. And the final output is the personalized plan for improvement based on the performance review, which is the input to the chain number one. To design this architecture in Python, we specify which chains contains our sequential chain. It is the list including chain number one, chain number two, and chain number three. The input variable is employee review. Output variables in sequential order are review summary from chain number one, weaknesses from chain number two, and final plan from chain number three. That's it, the theory and idea what we will implement in Python. Let's go. So, here's the Python file we will fill with the code in the next 5 minutes. And here's the employee performance review, which is the input to the sequential chain. Here's the name, surname of employee, strengths and weaknesses, just a regular performance review. Based on this review, sequential chain will generate the personalized plan for improvement for this employee. Let's come back to the code. Quick note about used libraries. OS is used to load OpenAI API key. Nothing very special here. Chat OpenAI. The OpenAI LLM API library we will use entirely in the tutorial. Chat prompt template. This is a prompt template for chat models. You can enter a human readable prompt to the LLM by using this. LLM chain. This is a chain to run queries against LLM. It is like an unit I showed in the theory of the tutorial. Chain number one, chain number two, and chain number three. Sequential chain. Chain where outputs of one chain fit directly into next. That is the main idea what we will do here. Perfect. Here, before everything, we are taking open API key and set up LLM object with this API key. Just two lines of code, nothing more. We can run the current code to be sure that our API key is fine and LLM object works as expected. No errors, so go next. For now, we need to define chains that we will use in sequential chain. We will define these three chains I introduced at the beginning of the tutorial very easily. The first thing in setting a chain is to specify a template. Template is like instruction to a chain what to do with the input. So, the template number one is give a summary of this employee performance review, where performance review is the input to the chain number one. 
next object for the chain is a prompt. For prompt we use chat from template module we imported before. And here we use the template specified just one line upper to be usable in the chain. So dot from template and get that template number one. So now we have everything to fully initiate our first chain, chain number one. LLM chain from here and between the brackets we need to put some parameters. LLM equal to LLM here from OpenAI. Prompt equal to prompt number one from here that is using our template number one. And the output key is review summary. So the template, prompt and the chain itself, that's a free object necessary to build a logical unit in Langchain sequential chain architecture. The first chain is done. We need to create more. For this I copy these lines and paste just below for the second chain. The first thing what we need to change here is a template. Template number two, let it be. Identify key employees weaknesses in this review summary where review summary is output from chain number one and the input to the chain number two. We are passing it right here. Prompt number two is taking the template number two using the same dot from template functionality. In LLM chain object let's change variable names respectively. Prompt number two, output key is weaknesses and not chain number one but chain number two right here. So now chain number two is done. Time for chain number three. Let's copy the full block of chain number two and paste it below where we transform it to chain number three. Rename from template number two to template number three and the template itself let it be create a personalized plan to help address and fix these weaknesses where the input for the chain number three is weaknesses from the chain number two. Prompt number three use template number three in the same way we used before, nothing more. Chain number three main object uses the prompt number three from above and the output key based on our action plan from theory should be final plan. So finally we have three individual chains, chain number one, chain number two and chain number three. Now it is a time to build a sequential chain from these individual chains. Let's go here to this part of the file. And now let's declare sequential chain variable. For this we use sequential chain package from Langchain here. Let's open the brackets and pass some parameters inside them. First of all, chains. We need to specify individual chains we have just developed above. Chain number one, chain number two and chain number three. The order should be logical, don't list it randomly. Next, input variables. It is another list where we declare the initial input for our sequential chain. So the reviews is the input which is coming here. Similarly, we need to declare output variables. Here we have review summary from chain number one. It is coming here. Weaknesses from chain number two. And the final plan from chain number three. I want to see full outputs with all related information. So I set verbose equal to true. And that's it. We have just set up our sequential chain in Langchain with Python. Was it difficult? I hope no. 
Now, we can quickly make a simple Python procedure to read an employee review.txt file and push it to the sequential chain. That is a standard Python procedure where we specify text file name, put it into the with open operator, and this file will be loaded. Employee underscore review equal to file dot read lines, and that's it. Finally, we can save result to a separate variable from our sequential chain object right here. So again, we have input variable equal to review, and the content of this review is coming from employee review variable where we load our text file. So we are pasting it here. Next, I'm really curious what is the type of the results. So I will print it out here. Then, what's our result keys? I assume that the result is a dictionary type Python object. And finally, what are the total overall results from our sequential chain? Let's print it just below by specifying that we want to see final plan from our results. Just adding an extra line to make the entire output more clear. That's it, we have all three individual chains and one sequential chain which combines them all into one logical structure. Let's run our Python file and let's see. Um, typo error, no worries, I missed the F in final plan here. Let's fix that and run the file again. The second attempt is running without any errors. Entering new sequential chain, very good. Let's wait a little bit. The results are still calculating. And here you go, we have the personalized plan of improvement in front of our eyes. As you can see, the type of result is a Python dictionary object, which is fine. Dictionary keys is another Python object, which we also can use in different use cases if needed. And the personalized improvement plan for a given employee itself. As you can see, the text is structured, detailed and comprehensive. The overall style is like a human based. And that's it from this tutorial today. I hope you found it useful and let's meet in another video.